Hi YouTube, this is uh, in Amiga 4, uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone. Um, I'm just going to show you how to set up your emails uh, on this device. Um, the emails I'm going to be showing you are going to be for hotmail.com. Um, so basically all you do, uh, on, the, on the Galaxy S2 you've got um, a social hub uh, application. I know you can download other apps for um, Hotmail, which are just email clients like I've got Gmail there, but they essentially go back to the same thing or they just uh, redirect you to the website and you're just logging into the website. But um, without downloading any other apps, just going from the device itself, you need to locate where your social hub is. Um, it may be in your um, one of your apps folders. I myself have got it on my home screen, so go into the to that and it says welcome to social hub and it gives you an overview of what you can do um, syncing contacts, emails, calendars, that type of stuff um, what we want to do is set this up now so we click on set up now and then it gives you a selection of uh, email accounts um, instant messaging accounts and SNS accounts that you can set up um, the purposes of this video we're going to be showing you email um, you can set up a Microsoft Exchange account um, if you're at work um, or if you're in a business environment and you've got an Exchange server. Um, a Windows Live Hotmail account, which is what I'm going to be showing you here. A Gmail account, although this device does come with a separate Gmail um, application, which uh, you can offers better functionality compared to the to the Social Hub. Uh, obviously, your email and other variations of emails as well. So just show you for the Windows Live Hotmail. Click through to that. You can configure email for most accounts in a few steps. Um, obviously, um, first one we just want to type in the email address. So the, uh, this is a specific uh, one that I've set up just for the purposes of this video, just to show you. So it's going to be, uh, whoops, it's going to be S G. I, I, so it stands for Samsung Galaxy S2 um, at hotmail.com. We'll type in the password. Okay, and then scroll down. It says, and you can see we've got set as premium account pop slash IMAP. Now we want to set this as a premium account, otherwise your mail won't synchronize. Now what I mean by synchronize is, if you don't select that, what's going to happen is your mail will come down to your phone. If you read your mail, um, it will appear as being read on the phone, but when you go back to your computer and were to check the website by logging into the hotmail.com pages um, it won't show as being read there so synchronization means if you mark it as read or delete it off the phone um, it synchronizes itself with the website so it also shows it as read or deleted from there as well and vice versa so if you were to delete something off the website it then filters through to the phone and deletes it off the phone as well so we want to keep that there for synchronization because it's for better use. It can be a pain if you were to, for example, delete it off the phone and then log into the website, I don't know, a week later and find you've got a bunch of emails that haven't deleted. So we leave that option ticked and click next. Retrieving account information. As you can see, I'm working off the Wi-Fi, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, as you can see there it says your account is set up and email is on its way um, give this account a name uh, we'll call it SGS2 um, there's your name displayed on outgoing emails SGS2 uh, we'll put that there as well SGS2 Okay, and then we click done. 
and then the keyboard disappears and you can see done at the bottom. Um, it also gives us a, the option there of synchronizing the contact, so whatever we have uh, on the phone to the website and from the website to the phone, vice versa, we can sign in automatic to the instant messaging client as well. Um, I don't use any of those and it's, it's outside of the scope of this video so I'm not going to select those. We'll just click done. And then it takes you to the um, basically the inbox of um, that particular new account. Um, and you can see it's got uh, emails come in there. So before I actually go into them, I'm just going to go back to the home screen just to show you what happens. So you can see I've got one email into the social hub. So if we click on the social hub, it gives you option for the messages, as in text messages or various email uh, client email accounts you've got set up there. As you can see, it says Windows Live Hotmail, and then the email address underneath on one email. So we click through to that, and you can see it's got the email selected there. Um, so if we have a look at the email, just click on it, and then it brings it up. Same as any other thing, you can pinch and zoom come in and out, delete, forward, reply, um, print it out from there, there's a host of things that you can do, um, create a new email from there, um, just type in your sender, um, select it from the contacts from by pressing that button there, subject and so forth, um, but what I want to show you is, I like this particular, that's uh, obviously the portrait view, but if I just move that along it should move it along there you go you can see the let me move that closer you can see the the view the emails there so if I just hold that there and then you can see you can scroll down as many emails as you as you've got um, if I select the top one which is a test I sent it gives you a preview on the right hand side again that you can you can pinch and zoom in that side as well um, obviously if I want to delete that all I do is hit the trash can then away it goes it says deleting and it disappears from that side that's synchronized with the website so when I go to the website that will disappear as well if I have a look at so that one there again you can see the preview on that side it works pretty well uh, again you can scroll down it you can zoom in that works really well um, I like I like this mail client itself. Uh, it synchronizes very well as new emails come in. You get notified on the notifications bar at the top. Um, you can set ringtones or any particular tone um, to go off when uh, an email is received. And you can move emails to various folders if you want by pressing the the, the move to folder button. And you can see you've got various folders that you can move to. Um, <coughs> So I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can go back to the main list of uh, email accounts, and if you want to delete those, um, what you can do is hit menu, and then it gives you the option for delete account. You select it, and then just press the tick button next to the account you want to delete, and hit delete, uh, and that's uh, removed the account that we've just added. And that's it. And that's how to add your email, your Hotmail email account, should I say, to your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone. Um, by all means, check out some of my other videos regarding the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, subscribe to my channel and check out some of my existing videos and some of my forthcoming videos as well. Any questions, just uh, comment below. Uh, and by all means, subscribe to my channel on the button above as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.